Hi there, what's up everybody? I'm Kathy Williams, your friend in real estate here in Orlando. And today I'm talking about the top five areas that my clients are moving to in the Orlando area. And I'm gonna kind of give you some information with them with regards to what the housing situation looks like, what new construction options there are, what niche.com ranks it, how far is it from downtown Orlando, and it's just a lot of things like that for each one of the top five. And stick around to the end because I'm gonna give you a couple of extra bonus ones. And before I get started, I would love for you to smash that like button down below because it helps people find my video. It helps the YouTube algorithm kind of boost my video up so other people will see it. So thank you very much for that. And go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you've never done that before. I would love for you to get notifications so you can know when my next video comes out. So the top five areas, we are gonna start with number five, Kissimmee. So Kissimmee is, I was kind of surprised that it was on my list, but then when I started looking, I realized, well, actually sold quite a few houses there this year. And I also have an awesome team member, Deedle, who's been helping me and she is covering that area for me and she's fantastic. So that's really helped also with the process. Kissimmee is just south of Orlando and I kind of think you know where it is because it's right next to Disney. And most people, if you've ever been to Disney, you've heard of Kissimmee because that's where a lot of the hotels are. So Kissimmee is a, basically it's a less expensive area to live when you're considering looking at the Orlando area. You know, home prices, you're gonna be able to find some things in the very low threes to upper twos. Now, as far as new construction goes, that is still gonna be in the mid to upper threes for new construction. And there are some nice communities there. One of the communities that I really like is called Tahoqua. And I've actually done a video about that one before. That's Mattamy Homes. They are, I think they've completed building, but now Lennar and Polte are gonna be building there. So it's part of uh, Kissimmee, an area called they call Neo City, where a lot of more high-tech companies are gonna be moving in. So that's kind of exciting for Kissimmee. Kissimmee is about an hour from downtown Orlando. So if you live in Kissimmee, uh, don't plan on commuting to Orlando because that's going to be pretty tough. But if you live in Kissimmee, it's a great uh, area if you work at Disney. So it's a great area for that. And you're also close to all of the attractions, really. So that makes it fun. A lot of people buy vacation properties there, or Airbnbs and that sort of thing. Niche.com gives Kissimmee a B minus overall for livability. And but you know what? Your nightlife is going to be pretty good because you're close to Disney. So that'll be fun. So let's move on to number four, St. Cloud. St. Cloud is just east of Kissimmee. So if you know where Kissimmee is, just look east and that's where St. Cloud is. It's south of Lake Nona, which Lake Nona is a very popular area that's growing like mad. And that is causing St. Cloud to grow like mad. So St. Cloud is kind of a small rural area, but it's growing and they're building some really great new construction communities there. One of them that I love is called Hanover Lakes and it's by Hanover Family Builders. I think Lennar is out there as well. And all the homes are on these canals. It's a really great waterfront lifestyle type of community. So that's a kind of a neat one. And they also have sawgrass. There's just quite a few new construction builders out there that you can have options for. And I think the thing about St. Cloud that's great is it is super close to Lake Nona. So it is going to be up and coming in the next couple years. It's gonna grow like crazy. The Turnpike is there, the 417. So if you work in Lake Nona, it's a great place to live. It's about 40 minutes to downtown Orlando, so it's gonna be a bit of a drive to get to downtown. Niche.com gave it a B plus, which, you know, that is a good thing to say, you know, they're saying that, and, and the schools are ranked a little higher there than Kissimmee. It's a little better area for that. And again, I think it's just great because it's close to Lake Nona. So that's gonna be a nice up and coming area. I mean, Lake Nona's got Medical City, it's growing like crazy. So I think that's gonna cause the prices to go up a lot in St. Cloud, just mark my words on that one. So number three on the list is Claremont. Now Claremont, I have sold a lot of houses in Claremont and I love Claremont. It's got beautiful rolling hills. It's really pretty. There's a lot to do out there. There's plenty of restaurants and shopping and that sort of thing. It's right next to Winter Garden. It's up west of Orlando about to get to Orlando. It depends because so, Claremont's really big and spread out. So you can be in Claremont and it can take 30 minutes to get to downtown Orlando and you can be in Claremont and it can take 45, 50 minutes. So it really depends. One of the new construction communities that's out there is called it's called 
Ridgeview and it's like Pulte Homes. Now also they're going to have Hanover family builders out there. They're going to be building more of the higher end homes. But that community, it's in a kind of a unique location. It's right across from Lake Louisa State Park, which I camped there a couple of, well I say camp, I cabin there a couple of weeks ago and it was really fun it's a beautiful place there's hiking biking paddle boarded you know it's just a really fun place to get out in nature but the community is right across the street from that and so it's a really pretty area but if you're coming from there it's going to be 45 minutes you know or 50 minutes to get to downtown orlando so it's that area of claremont's a little further out claremont has a cute little historic downtown area that's lakefront it's a really pretty area so there's a lot to a lot good about it the average home price there is about three 375 or so new construction though you're looking at you know easily low to mid 400s to start and some of the builders that I've worked with out there are Taylor Morrison the communities are Crestview and Canyons at Highland Ranch which are both really pretty communities another one that I've worked out there with is dream finders I love this community it's called Heartwood Landing and they have some availability as well for um, new construction again we're looking at 450s to 500 to for you know your beginner homes you know your 2,000 2,200 square foot homes and up so it's not a bargain out there but it's a little bit better prices than Winter Garden probably about five to ten percent less than Winter Garden it's actually up and coming and niche.com gives it an A minus for livability and overall an A minus ranking which is really good I think Claremont that's the first on the list to get an A that I've given you and B minus for housing B plus for schools and B plus for overall good for families so that's that's niche.com's rankings and I think it's just gonna keep growing and growing and getting better and better out there it's got lots of bike paths and fishing and hiking and you know outdoor activities there's the the world class triathlon center that's out there so it's it's a pretty cool area now let's go on to number two and that is winter garden Now, Winter Garden actually and Claremont, for me, were neck and neck in the number of homes that I've sold in each, which kind of surprised me when I looked at it. I thought, oh, I thought for sure I sold more homes in Winter Garden, but it just slightly, Winter Garden just was slightly edged out by Claremont. And it's really popular for new construction and newer homes. It's going to be about 30 to 40 minutes to downtown Orlando, really depending on where you live in Winter Garden. Like I said, it's, Winter Garden's a big area, and so it really depends on where you are. It could take 40 minutes, it could take 30, um, but it's a really pretty area there's lots of toll roads to get there and the average home price it, they, it says is about 426 but I dare you to find a home for 426 in Winter Garden it's hard to even find anything less than 450 in Winter Garden most of the new construction homes are going to be starting over 500,000 it's really gotten expensive in the last year like crazy and that builders can't keep up I mean inventory is super low in Orlando in general but and, and Winter Garden is no different I used to be able to find at least some inventory out there but it's gotten really tough so some of the popular neighborhoods though that I love I'm not going to give you names of ones that have already sold out but the ones that still have availability are MI homes which is Encore Innovation and they have a new one called Tilden Place and Tilden Place is brand new I don't know that they've sold maybe just a few homes out of there and they just are still breaking ground so that'll be a good one for coming up I think Dreamfinders is still selling out their Hamlin location but I, I think all they have left is townhomes for building new construction there that one went like quick super quick the other one is oh one of my favorites there is David Weekly's Oakland Park love that area they also have some custom builders in Oakland Park it's a beautiful community porch front kind of community with the bike path that goes right through it straight to into the little historic downtown Winter Garden which brings me to that's one of the fun things that you can do in, in Winter Garden is go to the down, historic downtown Winter Garden also Winter Garden is super close to Disney so that's a fun area you know of course Disney and a lot of people live in Winter Garden because it is so close to Disney so if you work at Disney or if you love to go to Disney then that's a really great area to live it's also a great area if you're new to the area just because there's so many new people right so so new people are looking forward to meet new people. Niche.com gives Winter Garden an A, which I agree with that 100%. It's B plus for schools and B minus for housing, and it's A minus for good for families. So it's a really popular area again. Now the number one area for people who are buying homes that are my clients is... Orlando. <laughs> 
So Orlando is, and specifically I sell most homes, most of the homes I sell in Orlando are in the downtown Winter Park area because that's where I live and I know, you know, lots of people in that area. I've lived here 35 years, so like I know a lot of people in the Orlando area now. So I tend to sell a lot in that area, but it's also a great area. And I guess the thing that makes it challenging is the prices. So, you know, you can get for 500,000 in Winter Garden, you can get a 3,000 square foot house almost, or probably 2,600 square foot in downtown Orlando, a 500,000 thousand dollar house is going to be probably you know, 1800 square feet or less so it makes it a little more challenging for the Orlando area but listen there's a lot of variety of home prices in the downtown Orlando area I can definitely find homes anywhere from 250 to a million just like that um, again our inventory is low and we don't really have new construction in Orlando there's really not any the only new construction is in Lake Nona and that is you know a lot of new construction down there and a lot is coming up I'm gonna have a video coming up really soon about an exciting new project that's happening in Lake Nona so stick around for that oh I was gonna give you some honorable mentions some communities that are I did sell some houses in and they are growing and they are up and coming. I just didn't sell a lot in those, but Oviedo is a really good one. Oviedo's on the east side of Orlando. Just there's hardly any inventory and there's hardly any new construction there. So that's the only drawback, but it's a great, great community. Apopka is another one. Now Apopka does have a lot of new construction and I did a video on that just last week. So that's a good one if you want to see a little bit about that. Also Okoe. Okoe is a very popular area to move. I just haven't sold that many houses there. Just a few last year. So hopefully this was helpful. Just a little information about what's going on with different communities in the Orlando area. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I've got my calendar link down below if you want to set up a time to talk to me. Also, please feel free to download my relocation guide that's in the box below. And I look forward to seeing you on my next video. When you go out today, give somebody a smile. Take care. Bye-bye now.